By the looks of it, getting rich seems hard, technical, too much effort. And while that is true to some extent, the most important thing is your mindset. If you're thinking like the rich, then you're already halfway there. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. Number 5. Think of money as your right. Do you ever realize how effortlessly we do some of our daily rituals like sleeping, eating, and breathing? These things come to us naturally, and they are a part of our routine, and that's exactly how you're supposed to interpret other things that you desire. If you think it belongs to you, that it is a right of yours, then you won't feel like doing extra work or working extra hard for it. It will simply become a routine for you, and you will embrace it with all your heart because it will be giving you your desired results. The minute you start thinking of your hustle as hard work, or as someone that's making you tired, or the minute you start telling people how you've been working so hard, doing this and that, just know that you won't succeed that way. You have to make your work a steady and progressing routine, so it doesn't feel like work or extra effort. Once you build that mindset, you will easily get the hardest things done, and that will be your milestone on the road to success. Number 4. Know your worth. So you might already have a business plan, or an idea, or an up and running job. You might already have a source of income which gives you a comfortable lifestyle, but can you call yourself filthy rich yet? If not, then you need to realize the worth of your work and your product or your service. Many people give in to the bargains, and if that's something you're doing, then you're doing it wrong. Don't hesitate in asking for a raise or expecting a promotion if you're putting in the effort and work. Don't let people devalue your product by asking you to give them discounts. The best way to value work and products is by telling the buyers and clients the details of it. You can offer them another product of a lesser price, but don't devalue the one by giving discounts. Don't work for people who aren't valuing your work and are paying you way less than you deserve. The right attitude in this manner can take you to places. Just make sure you know how to sell yourself and your product to people by reading their psychology and by offering them not what they are looking for, but what they need. Number 3. Become a leader. Leadership is a quality that not many possess, and it's a quality that makes you stand out. If you're thinking you can become rich and successful by crushing others, then you're thinking you're wrong. If you're worried about uplifting others, just because you think they will become better than you, then you're wrong. True leaders throughout history have done everything in their possession to help their fellows. So you might not be the CEO of your company yet. You might just be a regular employee and you can still possess leadership qualities. You can help your coworkers. You can uplift and compliment people who have done a good job. You can do favors for people and it's not because you want them to like you or because it's going to get noticed by your boss who might give you a raise for your attributes. It's because your mindset is supposed to be that of a leader's. It's because you aren't born to be just a regular employee, but because you enjoy the fact that others benefit you and that you are able to think bigger than them. Leadership qualities are often mentioned in job interviews as well, where interviewers expect their employees to at least be able to take up projects and lead them with ease for greater turnovers and for a great team that is invincible and can compete with competitors in the market. If you can possess one quality, make it leadership. Number 2. Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence is a state of mind where a person is fully aware of their behavior to the surroundings, where he knows and realizes the feelings of people around him. Not many people realize how they are reacting towards a situation, and they certainly don't give much importance to it. You might be losing your temper when angry. You might get too excited in a state of happiness and do weird things, or you might be making impulsive decisions. But not only that, you might be reacting to situations where you'd be harming other people with either your words or even at times, physically. The importance of emotional intelligence in the business world is just as much as a good business plan. You need to keep yourself contained if you really want to make it to eternal success. You need to realize that people around you might have a similar mindset, that they are there to earn too, and that if you're planning to take them down, it is likely that they are doing that too. You need to understand your employees, your bosses, your clients, and opponents. It's always better to make them friends, instead of showing your distaste, and keep them distant. It's better to make good relations, and it's better to keep people of influence close. 
Emotional intelligence will help you establish a strong bond with your business mates, and that's important in the business world if you wish to go places. Number 1. A Positive Mindset People who criticize, complain, and condemn are just as bad as people who wish they everything but won't get off of the couch. If you really want your entire personality and mindset to fall in place, then you have to practice to approach everything positively no matter how terribly you wish to just burst out and express your anger. If you really wish to build a team that will help you achieve your goal, then you have to realize that they will make mistakes, that everything isn't going to be perfect all the time, that you won't get every client that we've walked through your doors. What is it that you're supposed to do in such situations? It is proven that criticism never gives the results as good as complimenting does. You need to make the right choice of words. If your employee gets something wrong, instead of yelling at them and calling them stupid, you can tell them how they can improve and how what they've done will only harm them and the company. You need to practice positivity because that's what makes the real bosses and leaders. Let us know in the comments below if you know someone who has impressed you with these personality traits and make sure you like, subscribe, and share.